Give it uh, a minute for everyone to join. Uh, meanwhile, I want to give you an introduction about what we're doing today. So it's uh, Vinyasa Flow. We'll be focusing on the arms, shoulders and the back. Uh, I'll be using uh, some weights here. So if you have any uh, light dumbbells at home, uh, maximum one kilogram. If you don't, maybe if you can use uh, rice or uh, pasta packs or uh, frozen vegetables or maybe fries, um, small water bottles, uh, whatever kind of light thing to add some weight uh, to the flow today and maybe add some uh, resistance. Uh, so I'll give you some time to uh, prepare your weights, your mats. I'll put some music on and let me know if it's covering my voice. Uh, let me know if you can uh, hear me uh, properly and I'll be back in a sec. For those who are just joining right now, uh, I was uh, giving a quick intro that today we'll be focusing on the arms, shoulders and back. Uh, so please prepare uh, some uh, weights if you have any. Light dumbbells, you can use small water bottles, you can use any of the rice pasta packs, anything that would be maximum one kilogram. Uh, just to hold it with the pond, just make sure that you have a good grip. Uh, maybe shampoo bottles. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's start. We're gonna start seated uh, on the mat. Have any comfortable position. Reach out to your ear and start stretching your neck. Regulate your breath. Release the left arm down, lifting the neck back to neutral. Reach with the left as far away as you can. Inhale, right arm up. Reach your ear and stretch your neck. Drop the left elbow to the side. Try to drop it down to the mat as close to your leg as you can. Start looking up. And from here, extend the right arm and inhale to bring it forward. Open your chest, look up. And finish your rotation, bringing the arm all the way back to neutral neck as well. We have four more. Inhale forward. Open your chest, look up. And then exhale to bring it back. All 
right, three more, inhale. And exhale back. Last one. And exhale back. Think of a big range of motion here and lift yourself back up to the center. Going to the other side, extending the right. Drop your elbow on the mat, close to your leg. Extend your left arm and inhale, bring it forward. Open your chest, look up. And exhale to finish the rotation. Neck is neutral. Four more, inhale. And finish your rotation back to neutral. Three more. Focus on your breath. Last two. And last one. Coming all the way back to neutral. Lift yourself back to the center. All right. Bringing the right palm on top of the left knee, left palm behind you. So try as much as you can for the left palm to be close to you to maintain the shoulders above the hip here. We're going to inhale to lengthen the spine and exhale to start twisting to your left side. Have a deep breath in and exhale to come back to neutral. And to the other side, left palm on the right knee, right palm behind you, inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale to twist. Try as much as you can not to lean backwards, keep pushing the shoulders forward. Have a deep breath in and exhale, come back to the center. Bringing the palms forward, if you can, push yourself forward, coming on all four. So here in table pose, we want to keep the hands on the shoulders, knees hip width, relax your feet here. Five rounds of cat cow breathing, we inhale into cow, looking up, tailbone up, drop your belly down. And exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin to your chest, look at your pelvis. Take your time here, we have four more. Inhale, drop your belly down. And exhale, push the mat away, round your spine. Follow your own pace here, we have three more to go. Let your breath guide you more than momentum. Last one here, inhale. And exhale to down. And coming all the way back to neutral flat back. All right. And from here, we're going to inhale to extend the right arm forward. Think of reaching forward more than up. Keep engaging your abs here to maintain a flat back. And shoulder rotations again. We're going to inhale to open the chest. Arm all the way towards the back. And then exhale to bring it forward. All right. Let your eye line follow your fingertips. We have four more. Inhale, open. Reach all the way. Look at your fingers. And come back to neutral. We have three more. Inhale. Back down, arm forward, last two. Focus on the breathing. Last one. And bring your arm all the way forward. And from here, inhale, arm up. Fingers pointing up to the ceiling. And then exhale to bring your arm between your left wrist and rest left knee. Thread the needle, dropping the right shoulder and right cheek down to the knee. From here, feel free to extend your left arm forward, keeping the hip above the knee. Bringing the left palm close to the face again, inhale, right arm up. And exhale to drop the right palm back down to the mat. Coming to our table pose and we're doing the other side. 
Start extending the left arm forward, reach forward more than high. Inhale, open your chest, eye line follows the fingertips. And exhale to close, coming forward. Again, we have four more. Inhale. Exhale here. Three more. Inhale, open. Exhale, come down, arm forward. Last two. Inhale. Exhale here, last one. Bringing the arm forward. And this time from here, we're going to inhale the arm up, fingers pointing at the ceiling, and exhale to thread the needle. Drop your left shoulder, your left cheek down to the mat. Again, keeping the hip above the knees. From here, feel free to extend the right arm forward towards the top of the mat. Regulate your breath here. close to the face, inhale, left arm all the way back up, open your chest, and exhale to drop your palm back down into table pose, and from here, we're going to tuck the toes, lift the knees off the mat, extend your legs into downward dog. Feel free to start paddling your legs by bending one knee at a time, moving the hip from side to side, and neck as well. One more breath here. Alright, and then let's all start extending the legs, pushing the heels down to the mat. Relax your neck. And think of sending the chest towards the knees here. Stretching the hamstrings and the palms for five deep breaths. And from here, think of lifting the tailbone up to the ceiling to maintain a flat back. Where all your weight should be back to the legs and the heels more than the arms. Have a deep breath in and exhale to bend your knees. Drop your knees down to the mat, back to table pose. Bringing the knees together, untuck your toes, the toes together. Sit on your heels here, sending the forehead down to the mat, bringing the arms back, palms up into child pose. Have a breath here. And then start tucking the chin to the chest, sending the crown of the head down on the mat. Try to bring your head closer to your knees. Hold your heels and start lifting your hip off your knees. Off your heels. Make sure the crown of your head and your neck are not pressured here. And relax all the way down. Bringing the arms forward. Lift yourself to table pose. Tuck your toes, press into downward dog again. And from here, inhale, walk your feet forward to meet your palms. Go into the top of the mat, into flat back. And exhale to fold, round your spine. Feel free to micro-bend your knees here. And inhale, your arms all the way back up. And exhale to bring your palms together to your center. All right, catch your breath. Prepare your weights. Gonna check if you have any questions. All right, all right, yeah, I think you're good. So for those who joined late, we're gonna use some weights here. If you don't have any at home, don't worry about it. You can replace it with a couple of uh, small uh, bottles or anything from the kitchen. Um, if you don't want to use weights at all, that's completely fine as well. Uh, all right, and let's proceed. Coming to the top of the mat. We're going to connect the big toes together, get 
letting the heels be slightly apart. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. All right, then inhale your arms up. Then exhale to fold. Inhale into halfway lift, flat back and hold it here. I'm just going to take a step backwards so you can see me properly. So we're in our flat back. If your flat back is the 90 or higher, that's completely fine. Just make sure you're maintaining a straight spine here. Reach out to your waist. If you have any tension in your lower back, please feel free to micro bend your knees here. Lifting to our halfway lift, gazing forward. And from here, the palms are looking to each other. Arms are active. Start lifting the right arm forward. And then we're going to switch. Bring it down, left forward. And switch again for a knife. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Keep your back flat. Three, two, and one. Bringing both arms parallel to each other, pointing towards the mat. Keep engaging your core and abs here to further protect your back. Again, micro bend your knee if you need to. This time, we're going to start rotating the shoulders, turning the palms to look at the legs. And from here, we're going to inhale to extend the arms to the sides. Arms are straight. Bring them back to the center and then bend your elbows and lift them high. All right, we have nine more. Straight, bend the elbows, and eight. Bend, seven, and bend, six, and five, four, three, two, last one. Extend, and bend. Keep the arms straight forward, keep gazing forward. Again, turning the palms to look at each other. This time we're gonna bend the elbows close to you. Two motions here. First, we're gonna bend and lift, and then extend towards the back. Bend again, extend forward. We have nine more. Nine, extend, and come back down. Eight, engage your abs here. Six, five, four, three, last two, two, and one. All right, perfect. Dump your weights, round your spine and fold. Give your back a break here. Regulate your breath in and out through the nose. All right, and gently from here, inhale your arms all the way back up. We're going to keep the palms together here. Think of reaching as high as you can, tucking the tailbone in, engaging the glutes. As high as you reach, start sending the arms towards the back, chest forward, and maybe gaze up. So you only should feel it in the upper and the middle back, nothing to the lower back. And come back to the center, fold all the way around your spine, catch your breath. And we have two more here, inhale, arms all the way back up, palms together, reach as high as you can, engage your glutes, start opening the chest forward, arms towards the back, look up. Exhale to go all the way to fold forward. Again, catch your breath here. And the last one, inhale, arms up, palms together, reach high. Start sending the arms towards the back, chest forward, engage your glutes. And start bending and go as deep as you can. 
Now with deep breath in and exhale to all the way to full four. Now hand from here, we're going to inhale into our flat back, halfway lift, and exhale to step your legs back to plank. Dropping the knees, dropping the chest and the chin down to the mat, keeping the hip off the mat. Elbows off the mat as well, gaze forward. And start tucking your tailbone in here, sliding forward, come all the way to core. Untuck your toes, engage your glutes, and think of rolling the shoulders to give yourself some more space. Have a deep breath in, and exhale to lower all the way back. And we have two more here. Inhale into cobra, engage your glutes. Shoulders are down away from the ears. And think of pressing the hip bones down to the mat. So you need to have a slight bend here in the elbows. Have a deep breath in here. And exhale, lower all the way down. We have the last one. Whenever you're ready, inhale into cobra. Regulate your breath. And exhale, lower all the way down. Pick your favorite cheek, place it down on the mat, and relax to catch your breath. Make sure your weights are handy. All right, I'll take a step backwards. So from here, we're going to extend the arms forward, palms looking at each other. Keep pressing the chin down to the mat. Try not to lift it. And whenever you're ready, inhale your arms off the mat for three, two, one, and relax all the way down. So even if you lift your arms one inch off the mat, that's completely fine. Try to extend your elbows, engage your arms here. Again, keep pressing the chin down to the mat, lifting the arms up. Four, three, two, and one, relax all the way up. An option here to add your weights for the third and last round. All right, so from here, remember to keep pressing the chin down. And inhale, lift up for three, two, and one. Drop all the way down and relax. You can bring your forehead down to the mat if you want to. Again, without the weights. This time, we're going to add the chest and the chin with the arms. So inhale, arms up, chest and chin as well. Think of reaching forward, lengthening here, and let your back muscles work for three, two, and one. Release, relax all the way down. We have two more here. Whenever you're ready, inhale, lift up to our half lotus for three, two, one, and release all the way down. We have the last one. Option to add the weights if you want to. Whenever you're ready, inhale, lift up for three, two, and one. Relax all the way down. We have one last round. This time we're doing it differently. We're going to lift up and then bend the elbows towards the back into cactus. Trying every time we bend to lift the chest higher, activating more back muscles. Feel free to use your weights or without the weights. So whenever you're ready, we're going to inhale to lift up. Keep lifting up here, bending the elbows to the side. And extend forward. We have nine more. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Lift higher. Two. And one. Extend and release. 
Now you can place the other cheek down to the mat to balance it out. Relax your arms all the way towards the back. Regulate your breath here. close to the chest, tuck your toes with the help of your knees, lift yourself up, going all the way to downward dog. Relax your neck here, and again try to send your heels down to the mat as much as you can, relaxing the neck. You can stay on, in downward dog, or an option, you can start reaching out to the right ankle, with the left hand from the outside and start twisting to your spine. If you're twisting, let's go back to downward dog to the other side. Right hand to hold the left ankle, twist to the side. Make sure your neck is relaxed. And again, coming back to downward dog. One breath here. Alright, and from here we're going to inhale to shift the weight forward, coming to plank. Think of engaging the abs and glutes here, pushing the shoulder blades away from each other for three, two, and one. Drop the forearms and elbows into low plank for three, two, and one. If you can, without dropping the knees, lift back up to plank for three, two, and one, again, low plank for three. Make sure your hip is aligned with the shoulders, not too high, not too low. And lifting for the last time, back to high plank for three, two, and one, last low plank for three, two, and one. Drop your knees to the mat, big toes together, sit and stretch all the way in child pose. You can keep your knees hip width apart, you can have the knees together, just relax your neck here, maybe drop your elbows to the mat. Regulate your breath. from here. Inhale, let yourself up into table pose. Tuck your toes, go into downward dog. And whenever you're ready, inhale, walk your feet forward, coming to the top of the mat, into our flat back. Gaze forward. And exhale to fold. Round your spine, relax your neck. Inhale, arms all the way back up. And exhale, palms together to your center. Catch your breath again. Do you have any questions? No, righty. I'll take it as no questions. Are we all good? All right. Great. Let's go back to the mat. To the top of the mat here again, connecting the big toes together, heels slightly apart. Option here to bring your weights. It's the last time we're using the weights today. All right. And from here, maintaining a flat back, start bending your knees. Think of engaging your abs, tucking the tailbone in to protect your lower back. Keep bending your knees here, arms are straight, pointing down, all the way, so you can touch your mat. And then inhale, arms up into chair. Again, think of tucking the tailbone in, engaging more abs here to protect your lower back. Alright, bringing the palms together, we're going to start bending the elbows to send the palms to the back of the neck. And then extend again. We have nine more for a nine. Contract your abs. Eight. 
seven, six, tuck your tailbone in, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold your chair here, arms extended, point your fingers up to the ceiling if you can, have a deep breath in, and exhale to fold forward, put your weights on the side, extend your legs, relax your neck. Bending your knees, lowering all the way down as if you want to sit on your heels and again with control, sit down to extend your legs forward. Alright. You want to keep the shoulders above the hip. Start bending the right knee, center foot to the outer side of the left leg. Make sure that the foot is completely flat down on the mat. An option to stay here, or maybe you can bend the left as well. But make sure that you're not sitting on your heel. So you're fully seated on the mat. Keep the right knee pointing up high. And inhale your arms up, lengthen your spine. And exhale to twist to the right side. Left arm against the right leg, right palm behind. Regulate your breath here and every time you inhale, lengthen your spine using the help of the back palm and every time you exhale, deepen your twists using the left arm. Have a deep breath in here and gently exhale to come back to the center. Alright, inhale your arms up and exhale to bend the right elbow, bringing the palm to the center of the back right below the neck. Start pushing the elbow towards the back, stretching the tricep here. Try to keep a flat back. An option here to start looking down if you want. Another option to reach as high as you can with the right elbow and stretch it to the side. If you picked any variation, we're gonna come back to the center bringing both arms forward, stretching the arm to the side. Think of sending the right shoulder down as much as you can. Regulate your breath. And an option here to start gazing to the right side if you want to. Alright, and gently releasing all the way down. Extend your legs, give your knees a break. And we're going for the other side. We're going to bend the left knee. Send it to the outer side of your right thigh. Again, an option to stay here. Or bend the right knee as well. Make sure you're not sitting on your heel. Left foot is flat. Left knee pointing up. Inhale, arms up. And exhale to twist to the left. Right arm against the leg. Left palm behind you. Again, think of when you inhale to lengthen the spine using the left palm and exhale to deepen your twist using your arm against your leg. Have deep breath in here and exhale to gently come back to the center. Again, inhale, arms up. We're going to bend the left elbow. Let your palm be at the center of your back. Start sending the elbow towards the back, using the other palm, stretching the tricep. Again, maintaining a flat back here. It's an option to start looking down or reaching as high as you can with the left elbow. And with the help of the right palm, stretch to your side. And back to the center, bringing the arms forward. Start stretching to the side, keeping the shoulder down. Regulate your breath here. 
in and out through the nose. Right, and we're going to release all the way down, extending the legs forward. Just give the knees a break here. All right, and make sure you have enough space behind you. We're going to start bending the knees. Look down, round your spine, and start rolling to your back. Gently from here, while keeping the lower back down on the mat, you can start rocking from side to side. And resting back at the center, dropping the feet down, extending the legs. And we're going to roll all the way to come on our bends. Alright, so from here, we want to extend the left arm to the side to be aligned with the shoulder. Keeping the right, the palm close to the chest and the elbow is bent and high. Placing the left cheek down on the mat. Bend your right knee and start rolling to your left side, dropping the right foot behind your leg, keeping the head resting down on the mat. Stretch your left shoulder here and your arm. If this is not enough, you can start bringing the right arm up. And maybe take it all the way back. And think of Sending the right foot towards the mat to further stretch. Just regulate your breath here. And go as far as you need. And if you're going to release the right arm first, drop in the palm on the mat, and then start coming all the way back to your belly. Bend the left elbow, palm close to the chest. Right cheek is down on the mat, extending the right arm to the side. And again, bend your left knee. Start rolling to your right side, dropping the left foot behind your right leg. Make sure your head is resting down on the mat. And then if this is not enough, think of sending your butt more towards the mat. Maybe lifting the left arm up and maybe going all the way. Regulate your breath here. Again, go as far as you need. It's very important to listen to your body. Don't push it too far. And then we're going to bring the left arm down, palm down on the mat. Start throwing back to your belly, bending the right elbow, facing the forehead down. Start extending your arms towards the back, turning the palms up. Start regulating your breath in and out through the nose. Alright, and from here we're going to prepare for Shavasana. So feel free to have Shavasana on belly, bringing the palms down on the mat, placing the hands together, dropping the forehead down on your fingers, or if this is not comfortable, have a block or a cushion. Just make sure that the shoulders are relaxed down and the neckline is long, or feel free to just roll to your back into Shavasana. Extending the legs, extending the arms, turning the palms up. In both cases, close your eyes and start focusing on your breath in and out through the nose.
and start noticing how you feel here with your shoulders, your spine, your neck. And give yourself a moment here to breathe. Pressing the left palm down, inhale to lift yourself back up, coming into a seated position, just make yourself comfortable here. <clears throat> if you can, keep your eyes closed, regulate your breath, in and out through the nose. And one more time, we're going to roll the shoulders up, back. And down and maintain an open chest here. And inhale your arms up, lengthen your spine, stretch your arms. And exhale to bring your palms together to heart center. Keep focusing on your breath. Gently start looking towards your fingertips, blinking your eyes before you fully open them. 